Lord Jesus. Lord, I want to invite everybody up here to the altar because, Lord, it's at the altar where things change. It alters, Lord Jesus. Lord, we were first called to be a people of prayer, Lord Jesus. Lord, David said you are the prayer unto the God of my life, Psalms 42, verses 8. Lord, if we don't have a relationship with you, Jesus, Lord, we're missing you, Jesus. We're bypassing your cross that you died for over 2,000 years ago on a Roman rugged cruel cross, God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3, 16, Lord. Lord, you died so we could talk to you, Jesus. You died for us to talk to you as a man would his best friend. Exodus 30 three verses 11 God woe unto us God when we come into the house of prayer but we don't spend time with the one we say we know Lord Jesus Lord I pray to, to this morning Lord Jesus that we would be first the people of prayer God Lord that we would know you intimately Lord as a man would a best friend Lord Jesus this morning Lord I thank you Lord it's says seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6 verses 33. Lord Jesus you're more than just a song. Lord you're more than just a Sunday service. Lord you're my life. You're the God of our life Lord. Lord I thank you right now that you're the king of kings you're the lord of lords god you're the same yesterday today and forever hebrews 13 verses 8 lord i thank you holy ghost yes, you are. that we can come into your house yes, into your you said my house should be called of house of prayer Lord, I thank you this morning, Jesus. And of speaking of that, in Acts 3, verses 1, it says as Peter was headed to the temple, he was headed to what? To pray. And as he was coming along, there sat a beggar outside the temple at a gate called Beautiful. And he said, silver and gold have I none, but in the name of Jesus, get up and walk. My Lord Jesus, we need faith to move again. We need the faith say, Jesus, I'm going to take you at your word, God. God, I'm going to your house, God, even if I don't see anything changing. Because God, it was when they went to the house to pray. Yes, hallelujah. My Lord Jesus, this morning, that needs to be our motivation. That needs to be our motivation again to come to his house, Sister Janice. But to pray, but you can't help it when the Holy Ghost is in you, when Jesus Christ is in you. My God, he was going to pray, but along the way, there was somebody. It didn't look too beautiful, Sister Amber. It didn't look too beautiful at the gate called Beautiful. But he said, silver and gold have I none. Put in the name of Jesus. Don't you know at the name of Jesus, devil's tremble at the name of Jesus sickness has to go at the name of Jesus you can be made whole my Lord he said I, I got something better than money I got Jesus and the man got up he leaped he jumped that's what some of us need to do this morning we need to put faith in action this is God you give me your word you giving me the word God but God I'm going to reach out and grab a hold of it Luke 8 verses 43 the woman with the issue of blood she had been this way for 12 long years 
couldn't been healed by no doctor but she said I'm tired of waiting on a doctor I'm tired of waiting on man I'm tired of paying money for physicians because they can't make me whole sister Janice they can't pay there can't but one make me whole and it said she made her way through the press and she grabbed a hold of the hem of his garment my Lord Jesus cause you got one that's sticking closer than a brother he can heal you from the inside out my Lord I'm not talking about something that slightly heals you as Jeremiah 6 verses 12 I'm talking about something that can heal you from the inside out the woman could have been killed she could have been killed but she said God I'm going to be dying grabbing a hold of you my Lord Jesus that's what some of us need to do this morning you came in and God said said, God I want a healing but God says you need to learn to move with me it says as they went they were healed my Lord Jesus this morning Matthew 17 verses 14 as they went my Lord we got to learn to walk with Jesus again we God's given us more than just faith to sit down. He's given us faith to get up because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10 verses 17. My Lord Jesus, we need faith that says, God, I'm taking you at your word, God. I'm grabbing a hold of the hem of his garment. And it says it was stanched. It means it stopped in that moment when she grabbed a hold and it stopped Jesus Jesus said whoa whoa who touched me and the disciples asked Jesus he says he says master why do you ask who touched you he said because I perceived a virtue has went out of me and he said he looked at the woman he says your faith hath made you whole her faith that said God I'm putting faith and faith comes by hearing amen A faith that says, God, I'm not going to sit back. My Lord, a faith that says, God, I'm going to take you at your word and I'm going to grab a hold of you, Lord Jesus. This morning, Lord, that's what we need to do. I'm going to leave you with Matthew 4. The centurion came unto Jesus. And he says, Lord, my servant needs to be healed. And he said, speak your word only, Lord, and she will be healed. And this marveled Jesus. He said, I haven't found no faith in Israel as this centurion man. And it said in the same hour that his servant was made whole. My Lord, we need that kind of faith again that says, Jesus, I'm taking you at your word. I'm tired of living this way, God. And I don't have to live this way because by his stripes ye were healed. First Peter 24. My Lord Jesus, if ye were, then you what? Ye are. God, you be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Come on, let your request be known unto God with thanksgiving. Oh, and the peace of God that surpasseth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus our Lord. Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7. Lord, we give you praise. We give you thanks for that that we've done called on you for even this day, Lord. We give you praise in advance. You said it'll come to pass before you ask. I'll answer and while you're yet speaking, I will hear Isaiah 65, 24. You said in Matthew 6 and 8, your father knows what you have need of before you ask. Oh, give him a praise this morning. Thank him that before you could ask, he's already answered. Somebody shout, he not only answers, he is the answer. Somebody say, he is the answer. Jeremiah 33 and 3 says, call unto me. Somebody say, let's do that again. Call unto me. He said, I will answer you and show you great mighty things you know not of. Somebody say, I will answer you. We think sometimes when we hear that, that that means, well, God's going to give me an answer. No, he was saying in that passage, I am the answer. Somebody say, call on him 
He said, I will answer. Capital I. Somebody say, Jesus is the answer. Then he says, after I show up, then I'll show you the great and mighty things. We think the answer is great and mighty things, but no, the great and mighty things are the things that just come with him. He's the healer. Healing comes with him. He's the deliverer. Deliverance comes with him. Come on, the religions of the world are trying to seek salvation and they never find it. But somebody say, when you find Jesus the Savior, salvation comes. Amen. Whatever he does follows who he is. Somebody say, we're here to call on him. He's already the answer. Somebody shout, we're already calling on the answer. Somebody say, the answer's in the room. His name's Jesus. Somebody say, he's already answering our prayer because where two or three are gathered together in my name. He said there I'll be in the midst of them. Matthew 18 and 20. Lord today as we call on you for whatever and whoever oh God we thank you. You've already answered us. You're here. Jesus is here. Oh that ain't just some little religious cliche and announcement. No it's a living reality. Lord it don't take a crowd for Christ to come. If you can find two or three and I believe sometimes Lord you're the third one. If you can just find two you'll show up as the majority and Lord, we celebrate that your presence is here. The power of the Lord is present to heal them. Luke 5 and verse 17, and I praise you today. You're the answer. Somebody say it with me. You're the answer, Lord. You're the answer. You're the answer. And I thank you, Lord, that great and mighty things follow you. God, we're not just asking for a great and mighty thing, things we know not of. No, we're calling on a God we do know. Oh, that we want to know more of. And we welcome him because he's the answer. We call on you today. And Lord, you said in Jeremiah 33, verses 2, right before verses 3 that we've just quoted and prayed. Lord, you said the Lord who is the maker thereof. The Lord that has formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. Then verse 3 says, call unto me and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things you know not of. Lord, God, that lets me know you're the Lord, you're the maker. Whatever miracle we need, you've already made it. You've already created it. Lord, you've already formed it. The thing we're asking you to do, you've already formed it. The thing we're asking to come to pay, God, you've already established it. It's already been done. So Lord, we don't have to focus on the results. Results. We just need to focus on the one who says before you can call unto me, I am the answer. I've already answered it. I've already provided it. I've already done it. God, you said in Romans chapter 8 and 34, you spared not your own son but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him freely give us all things? Jesus, I praise you today at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight And now I'm happy all the day Lord I thank you at the cross Everything we'll ever need in this life That is temporal Oh and most importantly eternal It was provided for at the cross Everything we'll need in our spirit Our soul, our body, our livelihoods Our family, our situations, our troubles Whatever it is that we find ourselves in Lord it's at the cross You've already made all all provision. All things are provided at the cross. So we give you praise today. You're the maker thereof. You've already formed it. Oh, you've already established it. Why wouldn't we call unto you and expect you to answer and show us great and mighty things we know not of. And Lord, we pray for those that are absent today. Not because they want to be. God, there's people sick today. There's people infirm today. God, it seems kind of just weird looking over to my right and don't see Sister Melissa. She's in that hospital room here in Waycross, Georgia. Touch her, Lord, on that hospital bed today. God, and raise her up for your glory in Jesus' name. God, there's others, God, that are absent today. They're on the road with their family or their, their work or whatever it is, Holy Ghost, that's took them away. They didn't really want to be, but they're, they're away. Hallelujah. And Lord, we also pray for the strays. Lord God, those who are away because they're away from you and they're wandering in the wilderness of sin again and they're beginning to look back and remember Lot's wife Luke 17 32 so we pray for the strays 
place. God, we pray the backslider returning to you and you would heal them of their backslidings. Oh, hallelujah, Jeremiah 3, 22. God, I pray you would put a return back in them. Oh, hallelujah, God, I pray they get back to you because if they'll get back to you, they'll get back in your house, wherever that house is. And some, God, it's here. God, get them back, bring them back, reach them, Holy Ghost. We pray for them today in the name of Jesus Christ. God, some that you've done healings and miracles for and signs and wonders in their home and their family. And Lord, Psalms 106, 12 has come to pass even in their life. How soon they forgot the works of God and waited not for his counsel. Lord, how soon they praised you when they heard your word. You did a miracle. But God, verse 13 of Psalms 106 says, soon they forgot all your wonderful works and they waited not for your counsel. They did not serve the word that was being said to them from the house of the Lord and they departed. So Holy Spirit, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, you would take that stray, bring them back into the fold before it's too late because Jesus is coming. God, I pray you wake them up and remind them oh, how you delivered them out of the hand of the enemy. And Lord, even if they forgot and they forsook, God, I pray they would have a awakening, an awakening. God, you would awake them oh, and stir them and bring them back into the household among the family of faith. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, because even a just man, he can fall seven times, but he'll rise again. Proverbs 24, 16. Lord, everybody falls at some time, but God, it's those that's fallen away. That's the danger. It ain't that a man or a woman falls down if they'll get back up and get right back to going with you. Oh, hallelujah. But God, it's those that fall down and just stay down. They stay away. Oh, and they think it'll get better if they just stray and stay away. Oh, hallelujah. But God, we pray today. God, just like David said in the longest chapter of your Bible, in Psalms 119, 176, the last verse, David said, I've gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I've not forgotten your commandments. God, I pray for a stray sheep today. God, that's wandered in the wilderness of sin. Oh, that's living on the edge. Oh, God, and those who live on the edge eventually will fall off. But I declare today, good master, great shepherd that loved the sheep and laid his life down for the sheep. John 10, 11, I can see you reaching out with your staff and your rod. Oh, and grabbing hold of one of them. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, bring them back. Just like David said, Lord, I went astray. I was like a lost sheep. Oh, but God, you sought me with your words. Just like the first time God ever sought a man that was outside of his will and presence in the garden in Genesis 3, verses 9, God called unto Adam saying, where art thou? Oh God, hear that voice today, Holy Ghost. Wherefore today, if you'll hear the voice of the Holy Ghost, Hebrews 3, 7, God, we're praying for those that have strayed today as we go into the altar of the Lord this morning. And we're praying, God, that you'd remind them of your word. God, that they begin to hear the echo of your truth. God, overpowering all the words of the world and of demons, God. And your word would so mightily grow and prevail. Acts 19 and verses 20, God, let your word prevail over the very lust of the flesh and over the world and over the demons, Lord Jesus, that are leading so many, God, into error and astray in the hour that's in. Oh, God, we pray for them. Oh, in the name of Jesus, come on, grab somebody's hand today and say, help me pray for the strays. Come on, it may be somebody that ain't even connected to here. Amen, but you know somebody somewhere that's wandering from God. Oh, they used to walk in the wonders of God. Now they're just wandering from God. Come on, let's pray for them. Oh, hallelujah. This is a house of prayer before it's anything else. And so, Lord, we're praying for the strays. Oh, yeah, we do. God, reach them, Holy Ghost. Wake them up. Oh, there's some, there's a stray sheep watching right now. You're watching this service right now. Hey, you used to say, bye. Oh, when you heard the truth, but here lately you've been heard saying, bye. You went by. Oh, but God says, come back. Back, says the Holy Ghost. Come back. He's calling you back. You better come back. Oh, before he comes back, Come now, says the Holy Ghost. Today's the day of salvation. Second Corinthians 6 and 2. Pray for those that are backslidden. All those black backslidden teachers and preachers. And God, those that were used by you. Oh God, at some level, but they went astray. God, wake them up. Wake them up, oh God. Before it's too late, we pray for the strays today. In the name of Jesus. And God, we pray one for another. James 5, 16, that we might be healed today because the fervent prayer
prayer of a righteous man avails much. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we go ahead and pray on this day before we even hear the word preached later. Lord, we thank you for healing us, and we pray one for another right now. Come on, lay hands on somebody. And, God, we pray for your divine healing power to manifest in the temples of the Holy Ghost, in the bodies of people in this house, and those that will watch on live, live or whether they watch in the future after it's a recording edited. Makes no difference, Holy Ghost. Your word is strong enough even in the present. Oh, and even in the future, it is still present. I give you praise, God. You sent your word and healed them and delivered them from all their destruction. Psalms 7 and verses 20, and we know that word was over 2,000 years ago. His name is Jesus. His name is called the word of God. Revelation 19 and 13, somebody shout, we were healed at that hill over 2,000 years ago. In Jesus' name. Come on, give him a hand clap of praise, a, a shout. Come on, we've come to praise him this morning. Come on, let's go praise him in the house of God today.